say one. Hi, I'm Katie, and this is Skip Edward Anthony Mason College Moore, and we are going to show you how to tap English today. So, first, before you tack up a horse, you always want to brush them to get off all the dirt that could irritate their skin under the saddle. So you start from the neck and work your way down. Get off all the stuff, the dirt and like hay and stuff, and you want to be sure to get the area and where the girth goes. And, all, and move all the way down to their butt. You start from the top and to the bottom so you don't get any of the dirt that you just did, like anywhere else. <laughs> that makes sense. And then when you walk behind a horse, you always tell them where you're going and don't poop. Good boy. Good boy, Skip. Skip's like, what are you doing? And always like, uh, what is that? Right? He's like, I see Willie. And then, can't find it. But then you use a hoof pick to get off all the dirt and stones that could be in their hoofs. So you stand at the side of them and run your hand down until they lift. And avoid that area because it's very sensitive. <laughs> Oh my god, that was a cat. Good boy, Willie. Just stand there. Being a good boy, Skip. Good boy, Skip. Skip likes the camera. Yeah, he's so full of energetic. So what uh, movie star energetic? What you doing, Skip? Edward Mason Cowan. Anthony Edward Mason Cowan. Anthony Edward no, Mason. I don't know it that well. Tack them up, you use a saddle pad to keep the saddle from like irritating their back. So you start with the saddle pad all the way up on their neck, and you move down to their withers, which is the highest point on their back. And then lift the saddle up. Make sure it's all secure. And then certain saddle pads you have to velcro the side. And with certain horses, you need a martingale to keep their head from going everywhere. You're riding him in a martingale today? Yes. Okay. There's a lot of people. Hmm. I think I'll just beat the crap out of Willie today. Hmm, but good. I brought the draw reins out. Maybe he'll be good. So, I'm just going to put the martingale on. And you can stand still. Let's do one. Okay. When you let it go, go in front of them. You reach under and grab it. Then you pull straight up. And horses tend to puff out when you put their saddle on because it's squeezing against their stomach. So, sure, before you get on, to check your girth. <laughs> Ow. You used to do this. I didn't, so I was just going what? like, mm. <laughs> giving lessons. Okay. 
All right, and then some horses, unlike the Western one we saw a couple minutes ago, some horses need polar wraps, which are wraps that help support their legs and come in all sorts of sweet colors. Should I do them? Yeah, just do them. It's fine. Okay. I mean, mine was like seven minutes, so. Okay, and when you start them, you want, it's always like you're swimming. So you start from here and work your way like you're swimming out. You always pull from the front, not the back. Now what does this do exactly? Support their legs. Okay. And then you want to make a V in front of their legs and wrap around their ankles. And you make your way up. And tight from the front, not the back. Now how do you get the polar rep to stay on? There's a bar crow. Oh, there's a bar bell crow. That we'll get to in a minute. You wrapped the martingale around it. Huh? You wrapped the martingale in it. Oh, I did? Yeah. Oh, no. Don't do that. And don't do that. Okay. It'd be very bad when you're riding. Yeah. And then pull straight tight, but don't pull around the back. And there you go. It's a polar wrap. It's a polar wrap. Perfectly executed. Yay. All right, next leg. Just in case you need to see it from both angles. Yeah, and so this one's going to be opposite. That one you pull from that way, and this one you're going to pull from your right. You want to make sure they're really tight in this kind of ball. Yeah, good boy, Skip. Good boy. He likes the camera. You know, it's like taping his legs. <laughs> well, so. Don't eat it. I hate when there's people in the arena. Willie! Stop. Willie? And that's how you do polar wraps. Okay. Now the girth, or the bridle. bridle. So you can get cute little fuzzy things <laughs> to match the polar wraps. And my reins are undone right now. This heel hook doesn't really stand here. Boy. Then you undo the halter. But you want to make sure you have a note hand on them at all times so they don't go anywhere. And then you put your hand so they take the bit. You put your outside ear in first and then the inside. Willie! Then you adjust it. Put the throat latch on. Put it through the little slit. You could put it through that one, but I can't ever get it off, so I don't. Okay. And then for this kind of martingale, the reins go through it. So you put your one rein. Skip that. Through the. Willie! Break it. Get in the hog and put it around. And tight the reins, go buckle. And there you go. Your horse is tapped and ready to be ridden.